Hello friends, do you or someone that you really care about struggle with memory loss? You can't seem to remember why you came into your room? Or maybe you have a friend or loved one who's dealing with something more serious like Alzheimer's or dementia. Well today we're going to talk about a couple of really awesome brain herbs that can help to stimulate the brain and increase circulation. Hello, my name is Amanda and I'm from The Wild Herbal and we are going to make a brain tincture today to help to stimulate the brain. We are going to be using the herb Gotu Cola, Ginkgo Biloba, Rosemary, Ashwagandha. We're also going to be needing 190 proof vodka, some glycerin that is food grade, and we need a jar to put our tincture in, a scale, and some purified or distilled water. So let's get started. Okay, so today we are going to make 20 ounces of our brain tincture. So the first thing that we need to do is figure out the math and how many ounces of menstruum, which is our liquid that we're using, and how many ounces of herbs. I like to do a one to five ratio. So let's figure that out. Now that we have that figured out, we are going to turn our scale on. We are gonna press Tare so that it has the, the weight of our mason jar and our funnel if you're using a funnel. We're gonna start, we're using four different herbs and we need four ounces of tincture. So we're actually just going to use one ounce of every single herb. So the first one that I'm putting in here is the Gotu Cola. Gotu Cola reduces mental fatigue and improves mental clarity. Amongst a lot of other things, it's a really good brain herb and it's a Chinese herb that's been used for a really long time. The next herb that we're gonna do is Ginkgo Bilboba. This is a lymphatic herb, so it's really good for your lymphatic system. It helps to remove waste from the brain and helps to support the brain after injury. Some of the research says that Alzheimer's is caused by plaque buildup in the brain. So this would be a really good herb to have to help to take that plaque out of the brain. The next herb that we're going to use is rosemary. Now everybody knows that rosemary, apart from smelling amazing, is a memory herb and it enhances the memory. It's called a nootropic herb. It increases the blood flow to the brain and supports the healthy level of brain chemicals that actually helps you to remember and learn. So it has always been said that if you were to like drink rosemary tea when you're studying or during stressful periods, it really helps you to remember so that you can learn better. So that's a really awesome one to have in our brain formula. And the next one is ashwagandha, which is an aptogenic herb adaptogenic herb and it helps the brain to adapt and it helps it to handle the stress and the different stressors of life and to adapt and it's a very supporting herb not just for the brain but also for the nervous system so that is why we are including ashwagandha in there once we have all of our herbs in here we can turn our scale off because we don't need it anymore and now we can measure out our tincture so we needed 12 ounces of glycerin, which I'll measure out here. Now for the glycerin, whenever you do buy glycerin, it's important that you buy food grade glycerin because there, there is glycerin that is not rated for food use. So you wanna make sure that on your glycerin you buy food grade. In the link in the description, I'll have the one that I buy on Amazon. I typically just buy the cheapest one that I can find that is food grade 
and kosher and that it's derived just from plants. So this time it is this raw and rare, but now I actually got this simple natural this time, vegetable glycerin. So the brand doesn't necessarily matter. You just want to make sure that it's 100% free grade and it's a good product. So, okay. And after we measure out our glycerin, we are going to add, we need purified water. We're gonna add four ounces of purified water. Now you wanna make sure that you are using purified or distilled water because the chlorine that is in a lot of tap water or even different minerals can interact with your tincture and make it do really weird things. And it can also kill different enzymes and vitamins and minerals that you have in your tincture depending on how good or how bad your tap water is. So the next thing we're gonna do is add four ounces of vodka. Now this is 190 proof vodka because to me it is the easiest to do the math when it's almost 200% vodka. If not, then you kind of have to factor in the water that's already in the vodka because the proof, like if you have 80 proof, it means that it's 40% alcohol and 40% water. So then that really messes up your math and your ratios. And I'm not very good at math, so I would rather just keep it real simple. And it's not really that much more expensive either. So after that, you can stir it a little bit and then we are going to pour it into our jar. So after we have all of our herbs and our menstruum in here, where the menstruum again is the liquid, we're just gonna shake this around. So for our labels, we want to put on there the name of our formula. I keep all of my formula recipes in a blue book. So if I need to know exactly what brain formula means, I can actually go back and see what is included in the brain formula so that I know exactly what is in my teacher jar. And the next thing you wanna make sure you have is the date. And because this is a see-through glass jar, we are want to store it away from light and away from anything that's gonna make it hot. So away from windows or any type of heat source or like in a cabinet above your stove is probably not the best idea. So we're gonna store it somewhere and then every day come back and shake it for two weeks. And then after two weeks, you can strain it. And if you do not know how to strain an herb, you can check this video up here or you could check the description for a video link of how to strain an herb. And after that, I'm gonna move this tincture into an amber glass jar and I will store it, like I could store it behind me or somewhere because the amber glass is going to prevent the light from getting in. So that is all for this tincture. If you would like a printable recipe card that you can keep in a blue book or in a book of yours, or if you would like the printable label also to go on your amber glass jar, you can click the link in the top of my description. You can sign up for my newsletter and I will send an email newsletter once a week and it'll have the video of the week. It'll have a printable recipe along with printable labels and any other tips and tricks I might find that would help you in your herbal journey. 